Today's daily dose of math is part two of what is a trapezoid anyway. And today we're looking at the definition of a trapezoid and whether that definition is exclusive or inclusive. So what this means is there is more than one definition for a trapezoid, which can be inconvenient. The definition that I'm used to using within the curriculum where I teach is down here at the bottom. Trapezoid is a quadrilateral with a pair of opposite sides that are parallel and in which the remaining pair of opposite sides are not parallel. Now that's a little bit long-winded, but I use that on purpose because it's more useful for my students in terms of what they have to know how to do. I want them to be able to focus on the pair of opposite sides separately from focusing on the other pair. A shorter way of saying the same thing though is a trapezoid is a quadrilateral with only one pair of parallel sides. It really does say the same thing. All of these trapezoids are following this rule. Of course, we don't know that for sure until we look at this little bit of extra information that shows us that in all three, side AB is parallel to side CD and side BC is not parallel to side AD. This has to be there because otherwise the diagrams don't show you for sure which sides might be parallel and which might not. But all three of these have only one pair of parallel sides, so they are trapezoids by the exclusive definition. Exclusive means that certain shapes are being excluded by the definition. We also have the inclusive definition, which looks quite similar. A trapezoid is a quadrilateral with at least one pair of parallel sides. So there's quite a difference between having at least one pair, which means you may have two pairs, or only one pair. Let's look at the inclusive definition now. This diagram is no longer useful. I'm going to use this diagram instead. The top part of the diagram is the same, of course, but what we see here is I'm also including a rhombus, a square, a parallelogram, and a rectangle. Because all four of these other shapes also have at least one pair of parallel sides. So by the inclusive definition of a trapezoid, all of these shapes are trapezoids. By the exclusive definition, only the three orange trapezoids follow the rules and therefore the rhombus, the square, the parallelogram, and the rectangle are not trapezoids. So it really depends on where you're learning this material. In areas where the curriculum uses the exclusive definition, like where I work, the orange ones are the only trapezoids that are following the rule. In other areas where they prefer the inclusive definition, all five of these types of shape follow the rule. The trapezoid, the various types of trapezoids, and the rhombus, the square, the rectangle, the parallelogram. So this is the difference between exclusive or inclusive in terms of the definition of a trapezoid. That is today's daily dose of math. Please like, subscribe, and share.